your team to you guys want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Drew. I'm Nick. And I'm Justin. What's really cool is you guys are from Ohio, but you live with New York City. Yeah. Now, which one of you guys is the messiest? <laughs> Two people are pointing to you. <laughs> it's not that I'm the messiest, I'm just the most disorganized. Okay. But you weren't disorganized in finding your record deal. Now tell me about being backstage at the Boys to Men Con. Yeah, we thought it would be a great idea to kind of try and get backstage at their concert and sing to them the same way they kind of broke into the business. But uh, it didn't happen that way. We got backstage, but actually we're intercepted by the guy who became our manager now, Paris is on, and he, uh, along with Martel, they kind of helped us get our demo together. And, uh, and, and one of Martel's dancers actually gave it to Clark Kent who worked at Motown and that's kind of how we, we got the end at Motown. They asked us to come in and sing and, and we auditioned and they signed us that day. So that's that how day, it was, uh, so yeah. that fast. Yeah, Did we it feel worked. like overnight success? Mm, it doesn't <laughs> feel like overnight because we, we worked hard the last couple of years to really get here and, and, uh, and so you kind of remember all those tough times but it didn't really happen overnight and it's happened very fast. We've been extremely blessed but we definitely definitely remember all the work you're putting through. All right, guys, you stick around. We're going to have more with 98 Degrees, but right now, back to our countdown at number 19, Missing Your Love by Johnny Lang. At number 18, Don't Go Away by Oasis. And at number 17, from their latest release, Spice World, which comes out November 4th, Spice Up Your Life. This is Spice World. Brothers from 98 Degrees, Nick and Drew. Guys, why the name 98 Degrees? Well, when we were thinking of a name, we wanted a name that was going to kind of describe the atmosphere that our music creates. And we sing a lot of hot, passionate love songs, and, and, and Fahrenheit 98 Degrees is body heat. So, you know, body heat, bodies coming together and love and kind of stuff, that's, that's what 98 Degrees is. Well, 98 Degrees Celsius is even hotter, so you're hotter in Canada. Yeah, we're closer to boiling <laughs> here. Tell me about your sore throat remedies. If you go out there and you have a sore throat, what do you do? We lip sync. No, I'm just <laughs> No, we've never lip sync. Um, we, we try to drink tea, some herbal tea, no caffeine, some honey, some lemon, uh, wrap a towel around your throat, keep it warm, uh, steam, shower, hot shower, steam, do it all at one time and then pray to God that your voice is there for the show. Everything you guys talk about has to do with heat. <laughs> That's probably why you have well, that name. Exactly. Exactly. Where I could. Remember that contest I was telling you about? Here's how you can meet the Spice Girls. Tell me about your mom, what's your name, please? Justin, what was your first job ever? My first job ever was, I was a busboy at a restaurant, a steakhouse, and uh, it wasn't the, the most fun I've ever had working, but it, it wasn't a bad time. What was a bad experience that you had? Uh, probably just getting yelled at by my boss. He is not the nicest boss that I've ever worked for. So, so singing is a lot better, right? A lot better. <laughs> now tell me, what are you addicted to? Uh, I guess I'd have to say, in Cincinnati we have this thing called Skyline Chili. No, I've tried that, but not in Cincinnati. You would have tried Cleveland Skyline <laughs> Chili, which is not even Skyline <laughs> Chili. If you, you gotta be from Cincinnati, and you gotta, I mean, if you don't get Skyline Chili from Cincinnati, you're not really getting Skyline Chili. But it's the best chili in the world, so if you haven't tried it, you gotta go to Cincinnati and get some. Alright, now we're gonna go to Dana Manning, my addiction. We're hanging out with one of the heartthrobs of 98 Degrees. Here's Jeff. Now, Jeff, I see a whole bunch of girls all around you all the time. How does that make you feel? It's very exciting. And of course, it's very new. I'm not used to it at all. So. so going way, way back, tell me about your first date ever. Well, my first date was with this girl that my mom really wanted me to see. It was one of her best friend's daughters, and it was a total disaster. She didn't really, she wasn't really digging me too much. She didn't like me. Anymore, so. <laughs> How would you make up for it now? What would a date with you be like? A date with me? Well, I'm definitely a very sensitive guy. I'm, I'm a romantic type. Do you start crying? Uh, <laughs> if, the, if the moment calls for crying, I'll cry once in a while. I don't want to sound like a big wimp or anything, but I have cried before. Flowers? Girls have broken my heart made me cry. Flowers, yeah, flowers, and take you to the movie, take you to dinner, or whatever, and, and maybe I'll sit there and maybe or something like that. Oh, that sounds nice. Now we're going to go to the Backstreet Boys, as long as you love me. We're hanging out in Montreal outside of the Spectrum where 98 Degrees is going to be performing in a little while. There's a whole crowd of people here. But right now, I need your help with the countdown. Can you help me out? No problem. At 14, Chief Union with On My Own. At number 13 is Robin with Show Me Love. Number 12, Where's the Love and Truth. Number 11, Gossip is Gone, Janet Jackson. Number 10, Foolish Game by Jewel. Number 9, First Seasons of Lonely with the Men. And number 8, Avalon by the
the Foo Fighters. Now we have a brand new segment coming up. It's called the Fan Club, where 98 Degrees comes to YTV for the first time. All that and more coming up. Don't go anywhere. Right, guys? <laughs> I think it's the boys from 98 Degrees. Come on, let's go see what they're up to. Whoa! Hey, oh my God, it's really them! How you doing? Wow, well, hi. I'm, I'm Exan. I just noticed you were hanging out in our parking lot, so I thought I'd knock on the door to see yeah, if you guys are really here. It's really nice to meet nice you. To meet you. How are you? It's very How nice you to meet you. And Jeff. Have Good you been job. driving around? Toronto or across the country? All over the country. Oh, in there. Really? Yeah. All over yeah. the place tracks, place in it tracks a lot of attention. Yeah, it does. Definitely. Does, does it weird you out that there's like big pictures of you guys on the yeah, side? Yeah, early, early in the morning. Early in the morning, we go get something to eat. We pretty much look at it all day. <laughs> Canada is still just catching on to the heat. But we do have a lot of fans already writing and asking about you guys, and they do want to know are you all single? And yeah, what yeah, do you definitely. look for in a girl? Well, me personally, I look for somebody that's funny and easy to be around and somebody I can just be myself around and have a good time with. I, I'm single and I'm looking for a girl who's, who's beautiful in every sense of the word and her personality has a great sense of humor, fun to be around. I usually look for a girl with beautiful eyes and a good, a great sense of humor. I like my girl who's active, athletic, so something like that. How about sporty? Sport, I love sporty. <laughs> okay, now you two are brothers right. and depending on the relationship, sometimes there's a bit of brotherly competition. So was there ever any rivalry when it came to girlfriends, girls? Uh, actually, <laughs> we have to go back a few years, but we've had some, some mutual girlfriends along the way, but yeah. there has, we're, we're very, you know, we're not very competitive. We kind of left that early on in, in, in life, and we're pretty much just, you know, like best friends. Except for when it's called sports, you guys are competitive. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're very cool. We have, we have a good time together. <laughs> What about staying together in a group? Was that something the two of you had uh, always planned on doing together? Actually, Drew was the last addition to this group, and uh, the three of us had sung together for a while before Drew, Drew joined. So this was, you know, bringing him in was kind of like the final piece of the puzzle, and, and uh, he had the last little element to make missing the link. The missing link to put the group That's together. Me. So you kind of, is he kind of like the baby spice of the group? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Come on, baby spice. I think he's definitely the, he gets the, the cutie pie label, you know what I mean, from a lot of the younger girls and stuff. So he, he's a little cutie pie. <laughs> Montreal. We're hanging out with 98 Degrees, as you guys just did their sound check, because they're about to perform in about four hours. Now, I want to know, guys, what's your favorite warm-up exercise? Well, I think that we all have our own unique warm-ups, but uh, me personally, I like the, uh, the whip exercise where you go. It's kind of like the Jetsons warm-up. Just to get the muscles loosened up. <laughs> Uh, this is a little disgusting, but I do this for a little bit. It kind of clears out the head. This is my least favorite one. It goes a little something like this. <laughs> and all that stuff. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I do one to, like, loosen up the cheeks and the, the lip and things. Mommy made me match my M&M's. Oh, my. Mommy made me match my M&M's. Oh, my. You're good at competition. Actually, I'm really bad at it. Because I can only do this one because I've done it over and over again. All right, Jeff. I like you gotta to top all that. I, can't, I don't think I can top what any of these guys did, but mine go is called Yawo, Yawo, Yawo. Some of the great vocal cords that we had. It goes like this Yawo, 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 Yawo. Oh, that's so pretty. That's awesome. Very nice. Thanks, guys. We're going to have more with 98 degrees, but right now we're going to go to number seven on our countdown. This band directed their video by themselves. It's Our Lady Peace with Automatic Flowers. Breeze in Montreal. Now, guys, I want to know if you've ever serenaded your girlfriend. Oh, yeah, actually, my, my, my first girlfriend, I don't have a girlfriend now, but when I was in high school, I serenaded her a song called Unchained Melody. You know that song? Yeah, I like that song. And she laughed at me. What do you mean she laughed at you? She, she told me I should never sing, ever. It was kind of funny. But she wouldn't do that right now. I don't know, maybe not, but she really broke my heart. Now, guys, Invisible Man is number six on our countdown. Would it be too much to ask you if you guys could serenade all of us? You don't even know I'm alive 
Ford's Invisible Man by none other than 98 Degrees. <laughs> that was very nice, guys. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Now, how involved are you in making the video? Well, I mean, that, that video, the concept was um, was created by the director, Brett Ratner, and then uh, we kind of had all creative input in it, too. We kind of modified it a little bit and added our own little flavor to it, so um, I think everything that has to do with our project, we have definitely have a, an influence on now, most people make one video for one single. Why are you making two videos for Invisible Man? Well, the song is very special to us, and uh, we thought that the song has a great story to it, so we wanted the, the video to tell more of a story, and so we decided to do something more colorful, something that sort of shows our personalities a little bit better. So you're not invisible in the video, then? Well, the, the, the obvious thing about the new video is it's in color. It, it definitely tells the story a little bit more, and it, it adds a new, a new twist to the song. So you have to check it out. A different side of 98 degrees. Well, we're going to be seeing these guys in concert a little bit later on, and also our chart. Much more coming up. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Dan, Leslie, and I put together the hit list chart. Check it out. At number 20, it's Boy Zone with Pixie. The crowd is going crazy out there, 98 degrees. Are you guys ready to perform? Hey, we're ready. Yeah. What are you feeling right now? Good. 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 Good.